forecast from the CBS 7 Ford Weather Center. All right, good morning, everyone. A happy Wednesday to your peak of the week. We're halfway through it here. Let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, the temperatures across the region will highlight uh, rainfall here in just a few moments. 63 degrees, what we're looking at right now. Midland International Airport, 65 over to Big Spring, 67 at San Angelo. Looks like uh, 62 down to Fort Stockton, 65 Del Rio. If you go to the western counties, you get a little cooler. 53 Alpine, 43 as you head over to Marfa, 56 in Pecos, 50 degrees currently uh, as you head down uh, should say head up toward the Hobbs area, 46 in uh, Ruadosa. Now, uh, those are uh, actual temperatures across the region. Uh, we'll talk uh, wind chills uh, as uh, I do expect to see at least a few locations down toward uh, the Marfa Plateau, uh, seeing a little bit of wind in addition to the cooler temperatures you already have. It's going to feel much, much cooler. Uh, let's take a look at that for you in detail. 43 in Marfa feels like 40. 50 at Hobbs feels like 48. Everyone else a bit too warm to calculate a wind chill reading. We'll have to really watch this for you as we uh, go through the next hour or so. I think temperatures could, real field temperatures could drop into the 30s in and around Marfa. Now look at the water vapor satellite over the last 24 hours. If you look closely, you can see that counterclockwise spin drifting out of northern Mexico across southwest Texas. That is the storm system that brought rainfall to the area uh, yesterday afternoon and evening and even overnight. Uh, some rainfall has continued to uh, develop and uh, move across the eastern parts of the Permian Basin. And where you see these brighter colors popping up indicates higher concentrations of moisture. Seeing a lot of that over Oklahoma, parts of uh, North Texas, all the way back down into West Texas. So there's that storm system spinning by. Another wave of energy moving out across the Plain States, another wave of energy departing uh, the East Coast. So what this does is sets us up with a kind of a split flow uh, pattern here where you have uh, part of the jet stream cranking up across the uh, northern Rockies, the northern plains, and dropping back down the base of the storm system departing uh, the northeast. But you still have our disturbance drifting across Texas. So the, the, the jet stream sort of splits here, goes in two different directions. And this uh, uh, favors, I think, uh, as this uh, storm, uh, storm system kind of fizzles out, moves off to the east, this storm system will amplify. And I think this area here where you see these brighter colors starting to pop up from the Rocky Mountains back into the central plain states will be the hotbed for strong thunderstorms today uh, up to the north. Now in the last 12 hours we have seen some rainfall. You see yesterday some of that even in the Odessa Midland area. I got like 10 sprinkles out of the deal. Uh, it didn't rain much at my house, but a few of you picked up more rain than I did. And that uh, continued to drift on through the area. We've seen some rainfall continue to redevelop overnight. Uh, all of this kind of uh, consolidating here across the eastern parts of the Permian Basin this morning. Now, what we're seeing behind that is a southwesterly component to the wind. That's likely to continue throughout the course of the day. I don't think it'll be super strong, at least today. Uh, across the region, but we do have uh, stronger winds expected to develop uh, in the higher elevations, say around the Guadalupe and uh, Sacramento Mountains. I think we'll keep a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind across the Permian Basin, but out here in the higher elevations by this afternoon, wind speeds will accelerate above 20 miles per hour. So fire weather concerns certainly do come into play here, uh, even though we picked up some rain across parts of the area in the last 24 hours you start to see the atmosphere really dry up. And as those winds pick up, especially going into your Thursday and Friday time frame, I would expect to see uh, some high fire danger conditions. So we'll go with 86 today, 90 degrees tomorrow, uh, sunny skies, very warm, very breezy on Thursday. And on Friday, we'll see strong winds continue, but with cooler temperatures in play uh, for the late last day of the week, a good Friday. Some of you are out of school, some of you still have to go. It's all about uh, location there. Looks like a 20% chance of rain on Saturday. Then on Sunday, we'll see high temperatures bounce right back into the upper 70s. I, I think even despite a uh, cooler start to the morning and uh, cloudy skies for some, we're still going to see a big warm up in temperatures on Easter Sunday.